संदेशम भगवता तथिद्योमी प्रदच प्रति गृह परिक्रम्यागता Thus, instructed by the supreme personality of Godhead, Yoga Maya immediately agreed with the Vedic mantra Om. She confirmed that. she would do what he asked thus having accepted the order of the supreme personality of godhead she circumnavigated him and started for the place on earth Known as Nand Gokul. What are you doing? 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 We never were preparing like rice, dal, sabzi, etc. Dal is very good. Yeah, very good. Dal is very good. 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 कुछ लोग जा रहे हैं गर्भे प्रणीते देवक्या रोहिणी योग निद्रया अहो विस्तो गर्भ इति पौरा उच्चुषु When the child Devaki was attracted and transferred into the womb of Rohini by Yoga Maya. Devaki seemed to have a miscarriage. Thus, all the inhabitants of the palace loudly lamented, "Alas, Devaki has lost her child." all the inhabitants of the palace including kamsa 
when everyone lamented, Kamsa joined in compassion. Thinking that perhaps because of drugs or some other external means, Devaki had undergone this abortion. The real story of what happened after Yogamaya trusted the child of Devaki into the home of Rohini. In the seventh month of Rohini's pregnancy, it is described as follows in the Avik Vamsa. At midnight, while Rohini was deeply sleeping, she experienced she experienced as if in a dream that she undergone a miscarriage. After some time, when she awoke, she saw that this had indeed happened. And she was in great anxiety. But Yoga Maharaj then informed her, O oh, auspicious lady, your child is now being replaced. I am attracting a child from the home of Devaki. And therefore, your child will be known as Shankarshan. The word Yognidra is significant. When one is spiritually reconnected through self-realization. One regards his material life as having been like a breeze. As stated in Shumat Bhagavad Gita, Jnanisar Sarva Bhutanam, Tasham Jagrati Samyami, Tasham Jagrati Bhutani, Sanisa Prashito Mune. What is the night for all beings? Is the time of awakening for the self control. And the time of awakening for all being is night for the intropics, introspective, introspective stage. The stage of self realization is called Yoga Nidra. All material activities appear to be a dream when one is spiritually awakened. So that's why this Brahma Muhutta 
when the all material world loving people are sleeping the spiritual people are awake in that time why because this time the spiritual activity activities are very powerful different saints sages demi gods they all do their spiritual practices at this time that's why this brahma murta becomes significant for devotees also that's why it is said to our gurus our spiritual master for a sadhaka waking up at the time of brahma murta is very significant generally when the material world people are away by that time the spiritual people work have been done already when material people think that now we will start by that time because of awakening at the time of brahm murta most of it their sadhana part they have done that's why it is it becomes important you will see our gurudev or other our parampara very very we will you will see that they are getting up at 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning by 3 o'clock they are ready and sit down for chanting their gayatri and other diksha mantra and maha mantra so this is that's why awakening in the early morning at the time of brahma murta is becomes significant bhagwan api vishwatma bhakta naam bhayankara aap bhi shant bhagena मन आनंद बिंदु है मन आनंद बिंदु है दस द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड है दिस इज द सुपर सोल ऑफ ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज एंड हु लाइन पीशेस ऑल द फियर ऑफ हिज डिवोटीज entered the mind of vasudeva in full opulence the word vishwatma refers to one who is situated in everyone's heart ishwara sarva bhuta naam hrde deshe junastita another meaning of vishwatma is the only lovable object for every one this is the true word to go path and tell over here vishwatma means the only lovable object for every one it means there is nothing else that is lovable except radha rani radha mohan many people in material world searching here they are what is lovable my child is lovable my, yeah they are lovable but supreme lovable the highest lovable thing radha rani radha mohan because the for good forget fullness of this object people are suffering in this material world but if one fortunately revives his old consciousness of loving krishna loving radha rani and connects with vishwatma one becomes perfect 
that's why Gurudev most of the time is talking about relation and connection, leaving all different kinds of your dirt garbage out of your mind if you are really developing or loving relation and connection with another one. Then perfection is there. The Lord is described in the third canto as follows. Paravaresho Mahat Amsha Yukto Hai Ajopi Jato Bhagavan Although unborn, the Lord, the master of everything, appears like a born child by entering the mind of a devotee. Appears like a born child by entering in the mind of devotee. When the devotee, devotee awaken and make the heart ready for this entrance, enter automatically is also possible. But when we want to cultivate on a land to grow something, we need to make the land properly clean and everything for every kind of things. That make problems for growing things. So when this happens, then the born child, the born child, the Krishna consciousness enter in the mind of devotee. Until something is dirty, if you make this play area dirty, nobody will enter you. The same thing like with the devotee. Here it is still appears like a born child by entering the mind of the devotee. He is ready to enter even hurt, even in the mind. But first we have to cultivate. Then it happens automatically. The Lord is already there within the mind. And consequently, it is not astonishing for him to appear as if born from a devotee's body. Not only this, that entering and making ourselves. His life can be the same thing that when a devotee is purified and when he, he makes house inside the one's devotee heard, then the life from this devotee expand in a very vast area and gives the same kind of feeling, the same kind of happiness, blissful situation in the heart of the other devotees. The same thing happening with them from Vasudev and Devaki. Krishna only came not for them. They were devotees, definitely. But their first cultivation that appeared and that their light, when he came in form, in present, appeared in ordinarily. Then this light means the benefit. They all receive the pleasure, the blissful situation in their life just by just looking Krishna. Oh, since long we were waiting. It is not that Krishna gave the happiness to Devaki and Vasudev only. The word Abhinesha, Abhivesha signifies that the Lord appear within the mind of Vasudeva. There was no need for discharge of semen. 
that is the opinion of Sri Pad Sundara Swami and Sri La Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. In the Vaishnava Toshini, Sri La Sanatan Goswami says that consciousness was awakened within the mind of Vasudeva. Sri La Veera Raghava Acharya also says that Vasudeva was one of the demigods and that within his mind the Supreme Personality of Godhead appeared as an awakening of consciousness. Sabibrat Purusham Dhamma Rajmano Yataravihi Durasato Tindudhaso Utanam Sambhuha While carrying the form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead within the core of his heart, Vasudeva bore the Lord's transcendentally illuminating effulgence. And thus he became as bright as the sun. He was therefore very difficult to see or approach through sensory perception. Indeed, he was unapproachable and unperceivable even for such formidable men as Kamsa and not only for Kamsa but all but for all living entities. The word Dhamma, Sabibrat Purusham Dhamma. Here the word Dhamma is significant. Dhamma refers to the place where the Supreme Personality of Godhead resides. In the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said, Dhamna Svena Sada Nirsta Puhakam Satyam Param Bhimahi. In the abode of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, there is no influence of material energy. Dhamna Svena Sada Nirsta Kuhukam. Any place where the Supreme Personality of Godhead is present by His name, form, qualities, or paraphernalia immediately becomes a dham. For example, we speak of Vrindavan Dham, Dwarka Dham, and Mathura Dham. 
because in these places the name fame qualities and paraphernalia of the supreme godhead are always present similarly if one is empowered by the supreme personality of god it to do something the core of his word becomes a dharma so the not only the krishna were living is only dharma the person is also able to make this material body dharma because of the empowerment of the heart of a devotee the devotee is connected like that and purifying word then he comes and reside in the heart how a devotee heart becomes dama completely a devotee become completely a dama same like supreme personality of god is when he purifies his heart then he comes supreme personality himself comes and resides in the heart of this type of devotee and when he started residing in the heart of devotee the devotee himself or herself become same like as dham <clears throat> and thus he becomes so extraordinarily powerful that not only his enemies but also people in general are astonished to observe his activities it means when he resides in our head heart in this pure heart our all activities what we are doing in daily life is also change because he is unapproachable his enemies are simply struck with wonder as explained here by the words durasado to durdarsah another word orsham dham have been explained by various acharyas sri veer raghav acharya says that these words refer to the effulgence of the supreme personality of god vijaya dhaja says that they signify vishnu tejas and shukadeva says bhagavat swarupa the vaishnava toshani says that these words indicate the influence of the supreme lord's effulgence and vishwanath chakravarti chakra says that they signify the appearance of the supreme personality of god तो 
तो जंग मंगल अच्युतांसम समाहित सूर सूर्यन देवी दधा सर्वात्म भूत यूनिवर्स was transferred from the mind of vasudeva to the mind of devaki devaki having thus been initiated by vasudeva become beautiful by carrying lord krishna the original consciousness for everyone <laughs> the cause of all causes within the core of our heart just as the east becomes beautiful by carrying the rising moon proper as indicated here by the word manastaha the supreme personality of godhead was transferred from the core of vasudeva's mind and heart to the core of the heart of devaki we should note carefully that the lord was transferred to devaki not by the ordinary way for a human being but by diksha initiation thus the importance of initiation is mentioned here that's why there is some purpose of initiation it is not generally that gurudev is giving initiation there is a big meaning behind initiation so initiated them to carrying krishna because it has been transferred from vasudev so if if we consider gurudev as vasudev and we ourselves as devki so it is also transferred through initiation radha mohan to us because of our gurudev so the meaning of initiation is like this so they are spiritually transferring this energy in disciple the supreme personality of godhead 
was transferred from the core of Vasudeva's mind or the heart to the core of the heart of Devaki. We should note this very carefully that the Lord was transferred to Devaki not by ordinary way for a human being but by Diksha called initiation. Thus, the importance of initiation is mentioned here. Unless one is initiated by the right person who always carries. Here also one word came, right person. Means we should not move here and there. We have to come, our actually spiritual master, those who is showing all, every day by the giving lectures on the holy books that what is our goal, where we need to go. That is why Gurudev becomes important. <coughs> who always carries within the within his heart the supreme personality of God. Why? Why caring? Because he is not whenever you are coming you don't find he is talking anything else except this. Always the book is open, devotees are here. And the katha is going on. It means most of the part of the day's time is going in meditation by Gurudev. And when you when devotees are there, then again this, this meditation is carries through reading, describing, sharing. That's why our classes, you cannot say classes, yeah, our Sangha becomes very, very, very significant. One cannot acquire the power to carry the Supreme Godhead. It is not possible for everyone. Only a spiritual master can do this. Within the core of one's own heart, And the secondly, the word achitamsam is used because the Supreme Personality of Godhead is said is sorry, Supreme Personality of Godhead is Sat Aishwarya Purna full in the opulences of wealth Shad means here six. Ashura means opulence. So these six types of opulence are there. One is wealth, strength, fame, knowledge, beauty, and renunciation. The supreme God Godhead is never separated from his personal opulences. He has all these opulences, all these six. As stated in the Brahma Samhita, Ramadi Murtisu Kala Niyamena Tishthan. The Lord is always situated with all his plenary expansions such as Rama, Narsimha and Vara. 
therefore the word achyutansam is very specifically used here signifying that the lord is always present with his linearic expansion and opulences there is no need to think of the lord artificially as yogis do it is clear here mohapad is saying that what yogis are doing this is totally connected with materialism because material world is also also artificial ध्यान वस्तुत तद गतेन मनसा पुष्यंति यम योगिना वन श्लोक इज हियर योग इज मेडिटेट अपॉन द सुप्रीम पर्सन विद इन द माइंड फॉर ए डिवोटी ओएवर द लॉर्ड इज प्रेजेंट and his presence need only be awakened through initiation by a bona fide spiritual master the lord did not need to be within the womb of devaki for his presence within the core of her heart was sufficient to carry him one is here forbidden to think that krishna was begotten by vasudeva within the womb of devaki and that she carried the child within her womb when vasudeva was sustaining the form of the supreme personality of godhead within his heart he appeared just like the glowing sun whose shining rays are always unbearable and scorching to the common man the form of the lord situated in the pure that's why the shining rays who can carry the true we got the initiation our spiritual masters can carry this shining rays and without initiation if a ordinary man the person who is not initiated is ordinary counted in it that's why sometimes people say that why diksha important to go to guru so they should read sir bhagavatam of prabhupad it will be clear why diksha is initiation is important the guru carries and he spread the shining to us who is also like a son with this today because rays is there he is able to collect all the shining and with this 
we get through him we get the all this kind this type of glory this kind of glowing life glowing life when life will is glows when the positive changes come in, comes in the life our thinking our behavior our words <coughs> our activities even living in this material world contaminated material world becomes pious because of the mercy of our spiritual masters in the day then we become little useful for both side till we are in material world we are useful for that and then we want to be completely this side then we are also useful for this spiritual life the form of the lord situated in the pure unalloyed heart of vasudeva unalloyed means there is not such any covering or other layer is there no any kind of garbage or dirty things is there it's nicely cultivated very made for cultivation super clean like i as i said if this room is dirty so your room is dirty who will come in your room even from far they will see and they will go oh no okay same thing like this vasudeva is not different from the original form of krishna the appearance of the form of krishna anywhere the form not like form form means rupa so deva is not different from the original form of krishna the appearance of the form of krishna anywhere and specifically within the heart is called dhama dhama refers not only to krishna's form but to his name his form his quality and his parent parenelia conchel flute or the but we keep near d2 these are called parenelia everything becomes manifests simultaneously <coughs> Thus, the eternal form of the supreme personality of Godhead with full potency was transferred from the mind of Vasudeva to the mind of Deva. Exactly as the setting sun's rays. when sun goes to for setting in the west its rays are transferred to the full moon rising in the east we see that sun is setting in the west but actually this is just a transfer whole day given the heat and now when the rays of this sun will arise in the east side in the form of moon will give coolness krishna 
the supreme personality of godhead entered the body of devaki from the body of vasudeva he was beyond the conditions of the ordinary living entity when krishna is there it is to be understood that all his plenary expansions such as narayana and incarnations like lord narsimha and varaha are with him these are all expansion of sri krishna directly sri krishna has nothing to do with all of them narayana narsimha varaha any other incarnation are expansion of krishna krishna not from them they are from krishna and they are not subject to the condition of material existence in this way devaki became the residence of the supreme personality of god who is one without a second and the cause of all creation devaki become the residence of absolute truth but because she was within the house of kamsa she looked just like a suppressed fire fire under covered under some with something suppressed fire or like misused education they are both things education not gone in proper direction this is called misused education the press fire that is not the fire is there but is no one is using this is called suppressed fire which does not benefit the people in general is not very much appreciated so much so many qualification degrees diploma many things a certain place okay but generally in mass because this the people those who are thirsty for spiritual knowledge they are in many you know, generally it cannot it is not working because why it is not properly used so devaki was kept within the prison walls of kamsa's palace and no one could see her transcendental beauty she was considered a simple lady because she was suppressed fire why because the palace inside the kamsa which resulted from her conceiving the supreme personality of godhead commenting <coughs> upon the words shri veer raghava acharya writes vasu vasudeva devaki jatharayo reyor bhagavatah sambandhah the supreme lord's entrance 
supreme lord entrains into the womb of devaki from the heart of vasudeva was a heart to heart relationship that's why will they also talking about relationship how should be there just a word relationship is not enough relationship with heart to heart that gives more power and quick if it is with heart to heart mind to mind takes lot of time heart to heart in any circumstances it becomes very easy but we we need to practice in this type relationship <coughs> jay jay shri radhe jay jay shri radhe jay jay shri radhe थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर एलिमिटेड वैश्वास जय हो राधा मोहन राधा कृष्णा वाह थैंक्स टू गुरु देवा जय हो जय हो प्रभात की जय थैंक यू जय हो सो गो हो जय हो धन्यवाद धन्यवाद की जय क्यों सो स्पेशल हां सुगा गुरुदेव की जय हां हार्ट टू हार्ट नॉट माइंड टू माइंड जय हो जय More, more are there. Okay, how many are there? Yes, sir. Right. There are many.